It is Cyber Monday. People are scouring the internet right now to find the best deals on this holiday season's hottest items. One site is taking the hassle out of comparing online sales. It's called Wikibuy. It finds the best deals from all over the internet and presents them in all, all in one place. Joining us right now is the CEO of Wikibuy, Jonathan Kuhn. Jonathan, good to see you. Thanks so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. Well, this sounds like something we all want. Tell us how Wikibuy works. Sure. Well, it's an automated shopping assistant, and it's powered by uh, over a million people using it. So uh, basically, while you shop online, it tells you if there's a better price, and uh, then it's learning all day long from the people using it. So as soon as uh, one shopper uh, tries a coupon code that works, it'll automatically apply that code uh, for you at checkout. If you've ever used uh, Waze for navigating your car, it's uh, basically the same concept, uh, but applied to shopping. So I need to know exactly the gift that I want to buy, and then I put it in there, and, and, and Wikibuy will find me the best price. Yes, and actually you can just uh, it's install it and add it to your browser, and it'll just work automatically. So while you're, say, shopping on Amazon, uh, it will automatically tell you if there's a better price somewhere else. That's cool, Mike. It, it, very cool. Jonathan, do the uh, big co cyber companies like in Amazon, for instance, do they work alongside you or do they share data with you or are you completely separate from all the other retail companies out there? Well, we try to be the most unbiased source that's out there, so we'll show the customer uh, all the sources on a single page. So uh, Amazon, Walmart, Jet, uh, Kohl's, uh, eBay, it's the only site on the web where you can see everything uh, all in one place. So are there any surprising finds that you've had out there? I think a lot of people think that Amazon has the best prices. There's, when you're looking at all this, where, where in general are, are people getting the best deals? Well, it's interesting. You know, I think a lot of us, I'm an Amazon uh, shopper as well, but it seems like we've sort of forgotten that there's this other thing out there called the rest of the Internet. <laughs> um, and, uh, you know, it is, it is half of what else is out there, and that includes Walmart and, and eBay and Jet. And a lot of these companies have gotten a lot more aggressive about uh, pricing and then even uh, on shipping, too, shipping guarantees. Walmart and eBay both are rolling out uh, two- and three-day uh, guaranteed shipping. So uh, from our perspective, the customer should consider all of our options, both Amazon and uh, the rest of the Internet. Jonathan, what about smaller online retailers and their ability to keep up and compete? Because, again, the expectation, not just for major retailers with big, bold names, is that you get two-day free shipping, that people will have stock out there. How are those smaller retailers, even startups that have really built businesses advertising on Instagram, how are they holding up and how are they delivering? Well, we're seeing a lot of these small, uh, smaller retailers be really competitive, mainly, I think, because they don't have the overhead. So that includes, uh, you know, smaller retailers like B&H Photo, which I think a lot of folks may not have heard of, but they have great prices and they have fast shipping as well. Um, mm. They do have some advantage as well because they don't have 100 distribution centers in nearly every state like Amazon does. They often aren't subject to uh, sales tax in the state. Um, and they don't pay Amazon the 15% fee that Amazon charges, so they have ah. a cost advantage there as well. B&H is a good example, actually. I, that, that, that's a great example. So you have some great analytics on just what your users were looking for on Black Friday. Let's go through that. What's hot, what's sure. not? Tell us what users were looking for on Black Friday and where we can get the best price for it. Well, surprisingly, one of the top products is uh, this Instant Pot. That's a top seller. Uh, the Instant one of the Pot 7-in-1 pressure cooker? It is, okay. yeah. It's life That's changing. popular. <laughs> yeah, and actually it was uh, Kohl's on Black Friday had the best price on that. How much is uh, that? Kohl's actually had, uh, I'm not, it was 79 on Amazon. Kohl's was running that with uh, a 15% uh, cash back deal on Kohl's. And they were running like $100 off uh, Walmart and Target. And Kohl's were running about $100 off on Xboxes and on Playstations. Um, and then we're seeing like uh, smart devices um, so smart speakers and a lot of those things uh, you know, are selling really well. And on some of those, you have to check outside of Amazon because Amazon blocks the sale of huh. uh, the Google Home, the Google Mini, uh, the Apple TV. You can't, you can't even buy these products on Amazon because they compete with the Amazon Echo That's, and the Fire TV. You know what? That's funny that the personal 23andMe, the, the personal 23andMe kit was, was on, on that list on Black Friday. I, that, that surprised me. Those, those are, uh, have been a top seller for a while now. Okay. All right. 
I think it's an interesting gift. I think it's so hard it to figure yeah. out what to give people. And I think, you know, people try and figure out their, you know, where they came from. I yeah. think it's a, it's a fascinating business model, especially how they've shifted from learning about your health to now learning about your ancestry. It's fascinating. Yeah, because they won't tell you, they won't let you test some of the genetic markers that you want for, say, like cancer. They, they you can't do that. But right. who really wants that gift anyway? For it's a different, <laughs> it's a <laughs> different, th right. th something different for the consumer. I think that pe people have shown that they want something, they want to be a little bit differentiated. Yeah, they want Tech gadget. Well, I don't want that echo. That's I don't, I don't want, want it either. But I do think I know a lot of people who are talking about it. A lot of people love it, and it is an experience that people get to have now that is very different than just say, you know, a sweater. Yeah. You mean a, a robot listening to you all day long? Exactly. Yeah. Jonathan, thanks very much. Uh, Wikibuy sounds real interesting. We'll be watching. Thanks so much. Jonathan Kuhn. Happy holidays.